Guess what? It's a onesie day. Um, I was awake until 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, it was last night was actually ridiculous. I went to bed at 10 because I was so sore I couldn't stay up any longer. And by, <laughs> by 5 o'clock this morning, my body hurt, my head hurt, my stomach hurt, and then finally to add insult to injury, my arsehole felt like it had a train go through it. That way as opposed to that way. And uh, <coughs> it was not a pleasant night, to say the least. But I did get a lot of work done, which was really nice. I mean, I did a lot of writing for a new project I'm working on. And uh, I got a lot of planning done and some prop hunting and you know stuff like that. But it got me thinking about all the things I've missed because of my health. Uh, well, this weekend I missed a wedding that I really, really wanted to go to, and it really sucked. Uh, hi, Sarah Bear. Hi, Kiran. Congratulations. Try to resolve all arguments before you go to sleep. There you go. That's my advice. Anyway, uh, so there was that, and then years ago there was there's a role playing uh, tabletop gaming and role playing convention in Cork called WarpCon which was ran by some by someone I really, really like at the time, Sive. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I managed to go to it a couple of years. And this one particular year, I got, I actually wrote um, a one-shot RPG for it. And I mean, I spent a lot of time on it. And I spent a lot of time, like I wrote 40 or 50 pages of notes and then I, con I made, I kind of, turn them into a concise crib sheet of about a, a page and a half or something like that. It was a ridiculously small amount of notes anyway by the time I was ready for it. And then I got a really, really, really bad kidney infection. So my, one of my best friends, Tegan, who uh, is one of the most beautiful women I've ever met, she decides to, she decides that she'll run it for me on my behalf that weekend and um, yeah the, the whole her being really really beautiful comes up because uh, at the time I was making a lot of chainmail and I'd made her a chainmail mini skirt and kind of like a, a kind of like a string vest that cinched here at the center and yeah it looked really good on her and I've only ever seen pictures um, <laughs> but I missed that whole weekend because of my health and uh, although that one turned out pretty well because I spent most of the day on a chat an old chat room that's no longer in existence and that's where I met my partner she was literally the only person in the entire chat room who didn't ask ASL wanna cyber wow I'm showing my age doing that but um, yeah it kind of <coughs> last night it really struck me just how much I've missed how much of my life has been how much of life's experiences have been taken away from me by my health uh, like I used to be a rock climber I used to be pretty good at it too I mean I'm not it wasn't exactly international standard but I was definitely up there in Ireland and um One week I'd gone to a hot, to a competition and I'd come fifth, which was an extremely good result for me. And literally three days later, climbing was over for me. My body just said, you're not doing that anymore. And I haven't. I never climbed again. Uh, hmm. So, you know, I've lost a lot of things because of it school I missed the entire second year the entire third year I ended up repeating third year I didn't go to school for the last six months of my leaving cert because I realized that unless I stayed at home and actually just studied on my own and worked that way I wasn't going to pass my leaving cert I did and I did quite well actually but 
it means I missed out on a large part of making friends. It's hard to explain. Uh, yeah, it's kind of frightening the way it affects me. The way it affects my my experience of life. Yeah, I'll just close it up with, you know, this little story. One, one of my favorite, I like burlesque in general. It's kind of, it's something that's rather sensual that hasn't been affected by my PTSD, which is really, really nice. But my favorite of all is a steampunk night in Dublin ran by Miss Bella Gogo. And um, I really, really, really love the steampunk night. I think it is so much fun and it's so crazy. And even for burlesque, it's off the wall. I mean, it's, it's really, really odd and weird and fun and I love it. And I've got to go once. It happens once a year and the last three times I have been so sick the week of the of the steampunk night that it just hadn't happened and it fucking kills me because at heart I'm a diesel punk futurist but there aren't any diesel punks in Ireland as far as I can tell and you try to explain to someone what a diesel punk is their eyes glaze over and then they finish up by going Oh, so you're a steampunk. Anywho. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a really fun thing and I really enjoy it. And yeah, it, like I said, last night I was really struck by the amount of things I've had to give up and things that I've lost because of my health. And some of them are really simple things like walking, like hill walking, or well, I actually prefer ridge running, which is running along the ridge of mountains. But I've lost that. I've lost running. I can't run anymore. It hurts too much. Um, I lost rock climbing, mountain biking. Uh, I've lost a lot. I've gained quite a bit over the years. I've found things to fill those go those voids. YouTube is a big one. Uh, writing is a big one. For a long time, making chainmail was, although my wrists can't cope with it anymore. I've been working over a year now to try and finish a piece for one of my best friends for her wedding present. That was supposed to be there a year ago. I can literally manage three or four links at a time and then I have to stop because it hurts so much. But it was there for a while and one of the things that has gutted me in the last few years was my little sister Nades had a wedding and there were a load of reenactors there. And the next day there was one particular guy and he had this beautiful breastplate. I looked at him, I really got to have a good look at him and I was like, I could make that. And I really, really want to. I want to set up a little mini forge and a little mini armory and make one-off pieces of, of plate and mail armor. My body won't let me. It just won't. And it kind of sucks because that would really fill a lot of gaps because it's exactly what I like to do. It's making things from taking a resource and turning it into something beautiful which is something I love but uh, yeah I should probably stop talking you all have days to get on with so yeah I'm just gonna leave it there just I suppose what I'm trying to say with this video is if you know someone who's chronically ill especially if their illness is invisible like mine cut them some slack when they can't do things because their illness has probably robbed them of so many things you're not even aware of. A lot of them being hobbies or sports or something that was in, they've all lost something that was intrinsic to their lifestyle, something that was intrinsic into the, in their 
definition of who they are to themselves. So yeah, just cut them a little slack. And now I'm going to go and fight in the Iron Banner. Lord Saladin calls. And Lord Shax is, de is jealous. So uh, have a great day. If you have good health, count yourself lucky. If you don't, I'm right there with you. Uh, bye for now.